The Red Magic 5S is arguably my favorite gaming smartphone of 2020 at an extremely great starting price of just 579 US dollars. But it comes with a really cool little accessory which you can purchase in the link in the description down below called the Red Magic Ice Dock, which is 45 US dollars. Quite cheap if you ask me for what it is. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing this guy. And the first thing that we do indeed see in the box is the pamphlet and a few other little goodies, including an L or U shape, a USB type C to type C port, some silicon rubbers in case the ones on it actually wear any type C to type C cable, which is fairly long. We also get the actual eye stock over here, which looks great. And we have a rubberized coating covering the copper heat sink pipes. And we also get a type C port mounted on the left hand side of it, which goes directly into the phone and a downward USB type C port, which plugs into the external power source, including a three 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is a nice little touch. Compared to the Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro, which released earlier on this year, it has a much smaller footprint compared to that one. And it only came paired with a USB type A to type C cord, which kind of sucks since you can power it with your phone. Comparing the two, as I said, it is a much smaller device, the iStock, stock, but its actual thickness is a bit thicker than that of the Black Shark Fun Cooler Pro. The Fun Cooler Pro only has one type C port though. It has an on switch though, where the Red Magic one just automatically turns on and the Fun Cooler Pro also lacks a 3.5 millimeter jack. If you have purchased the 55 watt charging block from Nubia, you can then power through the ice dock and get 30 watts of charging while the fan is connected to your device. And the ice dock is equipped with an 8,000 revolutions per minute turbo fan. It doesn't have all the RGB effects the fun cooler does, but it's a lot quieter. But let's set that aside and get to actually testing this thing out. So first things first, let's plug it on our phone. If we plug it at the top, it will cover up the internal fan. If we plug it at the bottom, it will obstruct the actual fingerprint sensor at the top, the touch trigger. And if we plug it in the middle, it actually obstructs the power and volume rocker button, but this is how it is intended to be. And you can still use those controls pretty well. So let's go ahead and plug in that L or U shape type C to type C port straight into the phone itself. It looks pretty decent, not too big, though it is fairly thick compared to other coolers around. Comparing it to the Black Shark 3 Pro with its Fun Cooler Pro on, it's a much bigger device that Black Shark 3 Fun Cooler Pro compared to the nice sleek looking eye stock from Nubia. In the settings menu of the eye stock, it does indeed say that you can use your phone instead of an external power source to boost up the eye stock. And I have tested it and it does indeed work. So you can definitely use this device on the go if you'd like without the need of a power bank or external power source. And you do have that GPU boost option and the fan turns on. You can also use the 3.5 millimeter jack, but if you have a fat aux cable, it's not gonna fit in. So rather splurge for a slightly smaller one, but hopefully you have one of those lying around at home. Plugging all of it in and it does a pretty good job in the charging department, like I said earlier, up to 30 watt charging. And it does work on other devices such as the Note 20 Ultra for reference, but unfortunately it does not charge these devices and you can only use the GPU boost feature on a Red Magic 5S, not even a Red Magic 5G or its predecessors. Before turning on the actual ice stock over here, we got 35.5 degrees Celsius. After we just turned it on, we got 14.5 degrees Celsius below, negative 14 degrees Celsius, that is insane. Just shifting it around the table here to show the room temperatures at about 26 and the phone's over 40 degrees. And after just 10 minutes, we got negative 21 degrees Celsius and you can see quite a bit of condensation appearing on the rubber surface covering the copper heat pipe and the fan underneath that. After 20 minutes though, it went to negative 18 degrees Celsius, so it actually got three degrees warmer. And then after 30 minutes, it got six degrees warmer going to negative 12 degrees Celsius. So it seems as if my heat gun was picking up the temperature of the condensation water particles instead of the actual rubber surface. But how does the ice dock perform in a benchmark test? So we're gonna test out Antutu version 8.4 and just to let you guys know, I have elevated the phone over here using a little DIY setup so that the fan has more than enough room to breathe. So here are the starts of the test.
15 degrees Celsius. I made sure to keep them pretty similar so that we can test out what happens at the end. Without the ice stock, we gained 12.8 degrees Celsius and with the ice stock, we actually lost 11.5. And in terms of performance with the ice stock, we got almost a percent better in performance. Moving on to gaming here, Call of Duty Mobile using max settings and we have a 60 frames per second cap with Call of Duty Mobile. I couldn't get the temperatures the same at the start of playing the game since I did one after the other, but we're gonna compare it at the end. So I'm just speeding through over here and we actually dropped by 0.8 degrees Celsius with the ice stock and we added five degrees Celsius without it. And just in case you were wondering how loud the fan is while gaming, have a listen here. You can certainly hear a little bit of a hum in the background due to the GPU turbo option being on. You pretty much don't hear anything with that option turned off, but you obviously would like that extra performance. The Red Magic Ice Dock is nothing short of perfection in a saturated line of coolers for mobile gaming devices. It gives you the option to use a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as two type C cords, which allows you to charge your phone while using the accessory. If I were to recommend an active cooler for your Red Magic device, I would definitely recommend this. It's just a pity that there's not much support for other devices. 